Hey guys, it's Lippy's Joy 551. Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we retrieved the last of the souls to the front courtyard in the Twilight Realm, and we got a lightsaber upgrade. And in this episode, we are moving on. And with our lightsaber upgrade, we can cut through dark fog, such as this. So now we are imbued with the Force. The Tri-Force, to be exact. So yes, now our sword can cut through dark fog momentarily. And since all these enemies are from the twilight, they can pretty much die in one hit from the sword. Which is really overkill, but hey, I don't mind, it's flashy. Okay. So let's move on, shall we? There are no more soul trials that we have to worry about, which is fantastic. All it is is just making our way to the king. So let's do that, shall we? And you know what's amazing? I might be able to get through this entire dungeon in one set of videos, which would just be fantastic. And guys, oh my gosh, I just realized, we're almost done with this LP! Isn't that fantastic? It's amazing! Okay, if these guys would stop going around, thank you. Let's grab some light real quick. And yes, every time we make a sword strike, our sword glows for a bit. And we get a fantastic little light show, which is great. Okay. There's nothing down here for me. That is great. And yes, we're able to cut through dark fog now. So, and you'll notice these two positions. That's where this, these little two balls are supposed to be. So, let's pick one up. And they aren't exactly... You aren't exactly able to roll them around like you would a soul. They're actually pretty heavy. And with this in its position, it'll keep away any sort of fog, which is great. So let's create the next one. So these are like little mini souls. And that was stupid of me. Okay. The power of Zelda compels you. Ha ha! Alright. There we go. And with these two things in place, yes, these guys pretty much act like little mini souls. So, we're gonna grab some money real quick. We don't need money. We are suddenly Jesse J. <laughs> um, I said we don't need I think Jesse J. I don't even know if she's saying that song. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on, shall we? And now that our sword is imbued with the force, I'm sorry, I can't stop saying that joke. Um, now that our sword is imbued with light, we start money for a few seconds. Um, now that our sword is imbued with light, we can actually control, we can actually bend these things at our will. And it will create a, for, a platform for us. Okay, you're an idiot. Alright, let's get rid of this game. Thank you. Fantastic. And yes, there are Zant heads over here. And since we have our sword, our sword is imbued with the force, we can kill these guys in pretty much one hit. And there are more over here. Are you scared? Come on out. Come on. There we go. And once we kill all these ant heads, guess what we get, guys? We get a treasure chest! Yay! Containing... Let's find out in a second. We get... A small key. Yay! Let's move on, shall we? So now that we have um, our sword filled with lights, we're able to control these at our will. And we're able to summon platforms. So yay for us. And since we have our key, this will take us all the way up to this door. So it's important that you kill all those enemies before you hit that switch. Let's move on, shall we? So yeah, I might actually be able to make it through the entire Palace of Twilight in one recording session, which would just be amazing. Okay. 
Um, out here, there are plenty of enemies we need to teach lessons to. Um, because we are suddenly Mario teaches typing. Okay, but before we do anything, we're gonna want to cut through this fog. Specifically, do a spin attack and kill these enemies here. Hey, did you? I'm sorry. And we're gonna want to get our double claw shots out. And you'll notice they're a target. And right off the bat, as soon as we can get up here, we'll obtain an item that we need. So yeah, I really like this place. It's really atmospheric. I like the way that they designed it. I like the music for some reason. Like, the music just... Yeah, we get the boss key, which is fantastic. It's really early in, but this isn't really much of a dungeon, besides the soul quests. So yes, we get a small key. We get the big key, not the small key. And, but, yes, I really like this place too, it's atmosphere, and oh my gosh. I really like this fog too. I know it's the embodiment of Xanth Evil, but jeez, they made it look really nice. <laughs> yes, they made a sorcerer's evil magic look nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you touch Xanth's fog, you will turn into your wolf form. So yeah, there are plenty of enemies out here that we need to get rid of. Specifically, this Twilight Beast and Bird. So get out of my way. But what we really need to kill are Xanth heads. They'll appear after a little while. We just need to coax them out. And by coax, I mean show them all what whips these enemies are so they can prove their worth only to die <laughs> epically. Okay. So, there are a few over here. But they won't come out until I believe we deal with a bit more damage. So we need to end in here first. And we're at seven minutes, okay. Um we'll kick off this puzzle. How about that? Okay, really? Okay. Do that. Just be that way. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I don't think we're supposed to go in here first. So, um, I think we're supposed to lower the Zant heads out. I'm not entirely sure about that, but we'll see, won't we? Okay, so this is what we need a key for, and luckily enough, as soon as the Xan heads will come out, because they are too scared to, um, as soon as we kill all the Xan heads in sight, we will gain access to the key. So yeah, I think what we needed to do all along is hitch a ride on this. now coming out of hiding. I was fooling around for a few minutes, totally forgetting what we're supposed to do. So, yes, now that our sword is imbued with the force, we can kill them with one hit. Okay, guys, um, since we're at- whoa! Um, okay. Since we're at nine minutes, I'm gonna have to catch y'all later, okay? Bye-bye.